Don't be weirded out by the title of this video, guys. You're about to learn something new today. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because we are going to learn something kind of old school, but also kind of magical. So the first time grandma told me to squeeze my breast milk into my baby's eye, I just was like, yeah, the same look on your face when you read the title of this video, that was me. But then I tried it and it actually cleared up baby's eye infection. And, it, and this happened with my very first baby. Um, so I, after that, I was pretty much sold on the liquid gold. So now anytime tell, somebody tells me to try breast milk for some kind of healing, um, I squirt away. So my three month old actually is the only baby I've had out of my three that ended up getting cradle uh, cap, which for those of you guys that don't know is a uh, newborn kind of rash on the scalp. And sure enough, I squirted some breast milk on it and it it is the only thing that's clearing it up. I know it, it may sound gross to some people, but you know, as a mom, I'm, I'm pretty much desensitized to all things gross, as I'm sure is every single mother that's watching this. Um, so, you know, if it works, hell yeah, I'm going to use it. So um, I thought, why not um, create a lotion using, using the liquid gold? So I went on Pinterest. I found tons and tons of recipes. I played around with them, I, I, I played around with different oils, I played around with different butters, um, and this is kind of the consistency I found the easiest to spread on baby um, that was still very effective. So I'm going to share that recipe with you guys. So starting with a double boiler, you're going to place one teaspoon of organic beeswax. And once the uh, beeswax has melted down into an oil, you're going to go ahead and add two ounces of grapeseed oil. You can also use coconut oil if you want a thicker consistency in your cream. And then we're going to go in with vitamin E oil and just a couple of drops is enough. And you don't want this to cook, you just want it to blend together and remove it from the heat right away and let it get to room temperature. And then you're going to apply two ounces of breast milk and an optional essential oil. I'm going with lavender because that one is safe for babies. And you're going to combine it and whisk it together until it's white and fluffy. Make sure your jar seals well and this is the consistency that you're looking for. Hi beautiful! So Zariah has a little bit of cradle scalp so I'm going to show you guys how I apply um, the lotion on her scalp. So you guys can see she has a little bit of cradle scalp right over there. When she, when it popped up on her I was really weirded out because I thought it was some kind of like infection or rash like I had no idea what it was. Um, but what I've been doing for it is I've just been taking a, a warm uh, washcloth So I just ran it under some hot water and I squeezed it out and the towel is going to work as kind of like an exfoliant So I'm just going to give her a quick rub down Very gently You like that don't you? Yeah Oh, You like that? Yeah you do so then I just wait a couple of minutes and I let the water dry. Um, it doesn't take very long because she has like no hair. Um, and then I'm going to grab the lotion and I don't need much and I'm going to apply it right onto her scalp. Yeah. And I'm just going to rub it in. Yeah, we are. Oh, doesn't that feel nice? <laughs> So I'm just going to take just a little bit, a little bit goes a long way, and I'm going to rub it into the palm of my hand. I'm going to rub it in like so, and that is more than enough. Does that feel nice, Raya? Does that feel nice? Oh, you like it, don't you? Oh, you like it, don't you? So this recipe is actually going to stay good for up to three months in your refrigerator and don't worry about it being too cold when you're applying it on baby. I just take some in my hand and I rub it just to warm it up and then I apply it on baby so you don't have to worry about taking it out to warm it up uh, to room temperature before using it. But you do want to do a small patch test on yourself first and then on baby before rubbing this all over. 
please. I've been using it on my three month old so far and I've also tried it out on my two year old and they're both loving it. So on my two year old, I've actually used it on his eczema um, and some insect bites. And on the newborn, I've tried it as a diaper rash cream and it worked beautifully. Um, I am going to try it out if any of the kids get sunburn because I think it'll work really great for sunburn. Um, on myself, I've been applying it on my tummy on the stretchies that I've gotten. Um, and it's actually worked really well to, uh, to soothe the nippies after uh, you've been nursing and baby gets you all blistered up. Um, it's actually worked really, really, really well for that. Um, so I want you guys to try this out. Uh, let me know how it goes for you. Um, those of you guys that are weirded out by this, don't be. It's like one of those old school liquid gold treasures um, that has been working for centuries and let's not forget about it, okay? Let's, let's, let's keep the tradition going. <laughs> So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Show me some love in the comment section down below so I can continue to make some more videos for you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. You want to try out some lotion? Isn't your boo milk on it? No, just try it out. Hell no. Try it. What you think this what? is? You don't no. What kind of love is this? this is try no, it out. No, no, no. Try it. Ah, uh, it's vegan. <laughs> 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 Put it in my nose. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna be sick. Give me a high five. No, I'm dying. Me a high five. Come give me a high five. I'm dying. It's going into my blood. <laughs> <laughs>